So One Piece has no shortage of its amazing villains. Uh, many of the villains that Oda has introduced over the years, um, they've kind of returned in the story in some like shape or another. You know, we have Buggy, Alvida, um, Lucci, Crocodile. All these guys like somehow managed to make their way back in the story. And there's one villain who, technically, he has made his way back into the story, but um, I think that you know, it's 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 debatable whether or not he should actually physically return because uh, a villain like Arlong, um, we've only been able to see him in a uh, after he's been defeated by Luffy in a flashback uh, in uh, the Queen Otohime flashback as told by Jinbei in uh, Fishman Island. So today's video is going to be about uh, Arlong and whether or not he should return into the story as a uh, either a villain or as a, um, I guess, an ally, kind of, to the, the Straw Hats in some um, form or, or whatever. Um, so, first off, I think that, um, I go, I, I kind of flip and flop on uh, whether or not Arlong should return. Um, I can see the the side where I think it would be really cool if Arlong came back in the story, like have like a little like team up again with like, you know, Jinbei or even Nami, I think. But not as like a it's like when you know when uh Luffy kinda teamed up with Crocodile or uh um when he teamed up with uh you know Buggy right away, he was kinda like you know, their backs were to each other and they're like, you know, like we're gonna do this, like all that kind of stuff, like, I'm going to do this even though I'm, I'm going to team up with you begrud begrudgingly. Um, I think Nami and Arlong could team up in some sort of way like that. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't make a lot of, like, narrative sense. And the reason I say that is, one, Nami just, like, hating Arlong. You know, she said it multiple times. We obviously seen, like, how t terrible Arlong was of, like, you know, enslaving the whole, um, the village of, uh, of Nami. But Arlong being reintroduced into the story the way that Oda does it, um, when it's through that flashback and just the whole, you know, ideas that are brought up through, um, Fishman Island with, uh, um, Hody Jones, um, it's kind of like, Hody Jones is kind of like an Arlong 2.0, um, Except not really as like compelling of a character, and I say this because, you know, we see in 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 that flashback um, that you know like Arlong is kind of like teaching, um, you know, Hody like how to hate humans, and uh, you know Hody and all of his crew, like they really looked up to Arlong and the and those like the gang of uh, the Fishmen um, district on Fishman Island, um, you know, and like. Um, so that same philosophy is like travel is is then passed down onto uh, um, Hody Jones and uh, you know through that flashback we get to see like a little bit more of Arlong's character you know and like understand you know why he hates humans a little bit and like you know even see Jimbei like Jimbei hates humans to an extent um, you know because of like the slave trade all that stuff and you know everything that we get with Fisher Tiger um, even if. You know, we get we're introduced in that flashback with a uh, koala. Like, even if there's something with koala and the ties in of uh, you know, with Jinbei and Arlong or something like that, I think that'd be cool. And I'm I'm talking like, you know, end game stuff. You know, like big big final battle One Piece stuff. Like where you know we have so many characters um, together, and I think it'd be an interesting thing to see of Nami and. Um, you know, Arlong teaming up or Jinbei and Arlong teaming up, assuming that Jinbei is one, still alive, and two, maybe even like a member of the Straw Hat Pirates. I know, like, it's technically he's he is one now, but you know, I'm I'm of the, the belief that the jury is still out until we actually, like, you know, see like official, you know, something more official in the story. But, um, back to what I was talking about with uh, with Arlong, um, I think Arlong is he was one of the first characters, you know, one of the first villains to really, um, you know, heavily affect one of our, like, the one of the main cast, you know, like, 
his his actions um you know really shaped the way they were influential um to like Nami and not influential in the way of like Nami wanted to be like Arlong because she hated pirates but influential of like that that's how her her life was like just directly changed because of Arlong um so and all this stuff is like very obvious but I you know the way that Oda wrote Fishman Island um again it's like the way he he was using Arlong like he was using Hody as a way to finish like Arlong's story um you know through the flashbacks and um you know whether it be Jimbei's main flashback and Otahime's flashback or just Hody's kind of like some of the lines that Hody gives off um so from a narrative standpoint Arlong's story is wrapped up um as a fanboy you know because Arlong is one of my favorite villains um because he's just he is just badass like he's one of the you know you hear this a lot in the the community um that you know if you if you get to the Arlong Park arc and you don't love One Piece then just drop One Piece you know it's not for you um and that's due to just like the crew like coming together and you know taking on the these um you know these fishermen and even like you know speaking of Arlong Park Park um having Hachi, you know, like team up again with Arlong again, be, uh, begrudgingly, um, because I don't really see Hachi being friends with Arlong after, you know, Hachi's huge, like character change. Um, yeah, I mean, if just some way that Arlong could be reintroduced in the story, cause we don't really know where he is. We don't know if he's in, uh, you know, in a prison in East blue or if he was like transferred to, uh, you know, Impel down because he's been at Impel down before. Um, you know, he was released from Impel Down because of, uh, Jim Bay's, uh, you know, when he became a Seven Warlord, that was one of, the, like, his, like, executive orders, um, he was, like, given a pardon, you know, and, uh, um, yeah, I just think that, um, you know, from a narrative standpoint, I totally understand that, you know, Arlong, his story is told, nothing else we need to see, from a fanboy, dude, Seeing that, like, you know, his, uh, his, uh, um, shark tooth, like, saw sword. Can you imagine, dude? Just, like, him just ripping through people. Oh, my God. That would be so sick. And, like, Jinbei next to him. And, you know, they're kind of, like, talking. Like, Jinbei's like, oh, I fucking hate you, Arlong. Like, all that kind of stuff. And they're going back and forth. And Nami's there. And she's like, yeah, you piece of shit. Like, blah, blah. But. I don't know. I just think it'd be really cool. Um, let, me, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, like this video. If you like this video, dislike the video. If you dislike the video, um, subscribe if you haven't done so. Um, you know, share this video. If you like One Piece, uh, um, if you don't like these kind of videos, like, you know, I'm only doing this for a month. Um, seeing how the channel is playing out, trying to get in the swing of things, but now I'm just rambling. Um, so, yeah, there's going to be a video tomorrow. Um, could be One Piece. Could be Boku no Hero. Could be Naruto. Who knows? We'll just have to tune in tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys.